the thing about it that got me is that you couldn't even bend it, you couldn't bend, bend it, even with a sledgehammer would bounce off of it. So I knew that I had never seen anything like that before. And as of, as of now, I don't know what it was. It was not anything from this earth that I'm quite sure of. Because I was being an intelligence officer, I was familiar with just about every, all materials used in aircraft and in our air travel. This is nothing like that. It could not be. It, it could not have been. I went to the veterinarian section, and one of a sergeant I knew very well was sergeant of the guard that night. I told him, Sarge, how's everything around here? And he said, fine, sir. I told him, you know, they told me to be careful to watch this area because you have a sense of something sensitive here. He said, you want to see it, sir? I told him, yeah, let's go look. And I knew the sergeant, right? he was a master sergeant. I went back, and he, there was five crates there, like five or six, I think it was five. I lifted one up, and here's this body there and floating in fluid. And I looked at it about 10, 15 seconds, not much more than that. So I put it back down and I said, Sarge, come on, get out of here now. I want to get you in trouble. The head of the hospital there came to her one evening or one afternoon and said, I think there's something you would like to see. And he took her down to the surgical suite or whatever it was in the hospital where they had brought these beings and um, he, they took her into the room and she saw them. They wouldn't let her get close to them, but she stood by the doorway and, and looked at them. As she was looking at them, one of them moved its middle finger on its hand. The hand moved. So it was, whatever it was, was living. Hello, I'm speaking with you from Fort Monroe, Virginia. My name is Henry McElroy, Jr., a retiring former state representative from New Hampshire. Thank you for your attention to this brief message concerning the world's interaction with both Earth-based and off-world astronauts. When I was in the New Hampshire State Legislature, I served on the State Federal Relations and Veterans Affairs Committee. It was apparently important that as a representative of the sovereign people who had elected me to this honorable office, that I be updated on a large number of topics related to the affairs of our people and our nation. As I understood it, some of those ongoing topics had been examined and categorized as federal, state, local development, and security matters. These documents related to various topics, some of which span decades of our nation's history. One of those recurring topics is the reason I am addressing you this evening. I would like to submit to our nation 
my personal testimony of one document related to one of these ongoing topics, which I saw while in office serving on the State Federal Relations and Veterans Affairs Committee. The document I saw was an official brief to President Eisenhower. This brief was pervaded with a sense of hope and it informed President Eisenhower of the continued presence of extraterrestrial beings here in the United States of America. The brief seemed to indicate that a meeting between the President and some of these visitors could be arranged as appropriate if desired. The tone indicated to me that there was no need for concern since these visitors were in no way causing any harm or had any intention whatsoever of causing any disruption then or in the future. 